Hi there. Have you noticed changes in the weather or climate in your corner of the world? Perhaps these changes are not so noticeable from year to year. A person gets used to lots of things, misses a lot, and takes a lot for granted. According to UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, who made the March report on the One Planet Summit, climate changes in 2018 were the most large scale and negative in the entire history of observation. 2019 successfully picked up the baton and put a lot of uncomfortable questions in the minds of the scientific community. Stay tuned and watch the rest of this video to find out about what happened on the planet in recent weeks and months. There are disputes about what awaits us in the near future. Global warming or does a small ice age continue? The former argue that warming is inevitable, and this is especially noticeable at latitudes close to the poles. And to find examples, you do not need to go far. Greenland's largest glacier, Jakobshavn, has been melting for the past two decades at speeds of up to two miles per hour. But nature is the greatest improviser. Thunder Out of the Blue Sky was the news, published on March 25th on the official website of NASA and in the journal Nature. As if mocking the supporters of global warming, the glacier suddenly began to grow, and at the same pace. Along the way, the water in Disco Bay, where Jakobshavn is bordered by the ocean, cooled by 2 degrees, which is lower than at the turn of the 80s. According to scientists from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, it's still premature to talk about radical change in trend. They believe that all climate models that are built in the recent past today are not able to accurately calculate what awaits us even in a year. The International Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement reported a terrible disaster. Cyclone Edai, which fell on the city of Beira, almost completely destroyed it and its suburbs. According to the UN, houses, public buildings, and crops were destroyed. Beira is the second largest city in Mozambique. Currently, it is cut off from the outside world since all communications and roads are completely destroyed. It is known that the surrounding cities were also without power. To accommodate the affected population, 16 centers were opened. The cyclone also caused massive flooding in the state of Malawi. More than 4,000 citizens left their homes. In total, more than a million and a half suffered from the cyclone in Malawi. Edai did not leave out Zimbabwe either. It destroyed roads, damaged power lines, destroyed houses. These are the consequences of flooding for this country. Evacuation in the affected states occurs mainly by air. The number of victims among the population of Malawi, Mozambique, and Zimbabwe reaches 150 people. March 13, 2019, South Dakota literally drowned in the snowdrifts. The snow fell so much and so quickly that the animals collapsed right in the pastures. Winter Storm Ulmer, which covered part of South Dakota on March 13th and brought with it the most powerful blizzards and snowfalls in Colorado, Idaho, Nebraska, Wyoming, and Washington, which caused abnormal spring snowfall. As a result of the difficult weather conditions on a snowy highway, a patrolman died. On a highway in Colorado because of the snowstorm, a traffic jam caused more than a thousand drivers to get stuck. Over 1,300 flights at Denver International Airport were canceled. Colorado Governor Jared Polis was forced to declare a state of emergency and engage the National Guard in road rescue operations. The south, north, and center of Israel were flooded due to heavy rains, particularly affected areas of the Dead Sea, Modin, and Sharon. According to weather forecasters, Israel has not seen such rainfall for more than 15 years. The security service strongly recommends that tourists refuse to visit the Judean Desert. Also, heavy rains cause flooding in Saudi Arabia, and sandstorms cause poor visibility. The country closed educational institutions. The authorities called on people to take precautions. Flooding caused the death of more than 17 people in the Iranian city of Shiraz. In general, more than 70 people suffered from floods in Iran. As the Associated Press Agency reported in March 2019, another 40-year-old anti-record of the mass death of marine mammals was established on the French coast of the Atlantic. Since the beginning of this year, more than 1,100 bodies of dolphins have been found on the beaches, 
Similar cases have been encountered before, says Willie Dubin, a marine zoologist at the University of La Rochelle, but there have not been this many victims. The mass death of whales, dolphins, and sea lions were recorded in early March off the coast of Southern California. Marine zoologists are at a loss and are considering four probable causes. One of them is the delayed effects of radiation by Fukushima. The second is the flowering of abundantly multiplying algae in the Gulf water area. The third is rainwater draining toxic chemical production waste into the ocean. And finally, another unclear but very likely reason for the strange behavior of dolphins and whales is active military. This indirectly confirms the fact of the death of 34 whales off the coast of North Carolina in January 2005, described in the pages of Scientific American magazine. Then the tragedy occurred as a result of the use of low-frequency active sonar (LFA) designed to detect the enemy's ultra-quiet submarines. Such sonars bypassing the court's decision have been widely used since 2002 in 70% of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. The impact of low-frequency signals of such amplitude leads the inhabitants of the ocean to stop mating, with loss of orientation and stress, and it is so strong that maternal animals abandon their offspring. Meanwhile, in Mexico, the largest and oldest volcano in the country, Popocatapetl, when translated from a local dialect, means a smoking hill, has been active for a month. It began to erupt in early March and does not seem to be calming down. On the contrary, on the night of Tuesday, March 19th, the activity of the volcano sharply increased. The problem is that this giant is located one hour from the Mexican capital, with 20 million people in Mexico City. So far, the municipality has declared a yellow level of danger, but the situation is developing so rapidly that in the near future, a large-scale evacuation may be required. The state of Puebla is hastily repairing roads and preparing temporary settlements for potential migrants. Volcanoologists analyze the relationship between the awakening of the Popocatapetl volcano and the wave of seismic activity that swept the planet from the 15th to the 20th of March. In the span of five days in different corners of the globe, six earthquakes of a magnitude from 5 to 6.5 occurred. From the beginning to the end of March 2019, the northern part of Spain was buried in the smoke from forest fires. In the first part of the month, the fires destroyed about 1,200 hectares of forests and brushes in the Asturias and Cantabria area. Springtime in this region is traditionally teeming with rains, but this year, there is a sizzling heat and anomalous drought. The average daily temperature in the region varied throughout the month at 29 degrees Celsius, 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Considering the fact that the wind gusts reached 60 miles per hour, the source of ignition could be a spark from a power line, a careless thrown cigarette butt, or a match. Today, alarming news continues to come from the northwestern region of Galicia, where about 500 hectares of forest were engulfed in flames. Despite the solid experience in exhausting fires in the spring of this year, the capabilities of the country's national service turned out to be insufficient. On March 23rd, baseball like hell drove the residents of U.S. states of Oklahoma and Texas to take shelter under roof. Random witnesses who risk measuring fallen hailstones have never seen anything like it. Unprotected windows and car roofs in Tarrant, Denton, and Collins counties were damaged. The most devastating effects of the elements were in Dallas. And to Australia, scientists predict in the near future eternal summer. According to scientists, the average daily temperature will increase by almost 4 degrees Celsius, and in some parts of the country, even more. Thus, Australia will be completely deprived of winter in its usual form, and the summer will become truly sultry. The air temperature will exceed 40 degrees Celsius, 104 degrees Fahrenheit. It is worth mentioning that last summer was, for Australia, the hottest ever. The heat caused the drying up of water bodies and the death of many wild animals. Scientists believe that in the near future there will be much more client anomalies, but how much time do we have and what should we prepare for? A reduction of CO2 levels cannot solve the global problems of mankind. Of course, not everything depends directly on us, 
But there are still things that we can influence. It is within our power to stop polluting the air and poisoning the ocean. It is important to remember that caring for the land is not a prerogative, but a responsibility to begin to act. That's all for today. Put like if you liked this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.